What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can get iOS 10 beta right now on your iPhone or iPad. Let's get started. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use my iPad mini here. But before we get started, we want to make sure that we back up our device. Now you can do this through iCloud here. You can see there's a backup option. If you have enough space on your iCloud account, you can back up this way. If you don't, you can always back up using iTunes. Now I'm not going to show you how to do a backup, but it's very important that you do so in case something goes wrong because this is beta software. So if you don't know how to back up your device, there's a link in the description box of this video. It'll take you to a full tutorial I created showing you how to back up your iOS device. Now, assuming you backed up your device, we'll open up Safari here and get started with installing the beta software. So we need to sign in or sign up if you don't have an Apple ID. So I'm just going to tap on sign in here and then put in my Apple ID credentials. If you don't have one, you can create one right there. Once you've put in your information, tap sign in. The next page we're going to be looking at is the guide for public betas and you want to ensure that iOS is selected. You can get the Mac OS beta if you have a Mac. We're focusing on iOS here. Now I would strongly recommend that you read through this whole page. You see right here they're recommending you back up your iOS device and I can't stress that enough uh, just in case something goes wrong. But assuming you've done all this and read through it, you want to tap on the enroll your iOS device link right here. And this is where we're going to actually get this installed on our device. So again, ensure iOS is selected. It should be. We're going to scroll down to the second section here where it says download profile. Obviously, read through this yourself just so you have a better understanding. But this is where we need to be. So we'll tap on that right now. So immediately we'll get a pop-up within our settings and it's going to allow us to install it. It's verified. We'll tap install at the top right. You'll then be prompted to put in your iOS device password here. Mine is very simple. From here, you can read through all of this, tap install on the top right, and then install when prompted. Next, we'll be prompted to restart. So I'm just going to tap restart here, and it's going to restart the iPad. Once your iPad restarts, you want to tap on the settings application here. You want to navigate to the general tab and then tap on software update, and it's going to check for updates. If everything was done correctly, you should see iOS 10 public beta one pop up here. You'll see that it's going to take up 1.7 gigabytes of space. So ensure that your device can handle that and has the space. Next, tap on download and install. Again, enter in your password. Read through this, tap agree. Tap agree again. And now we play the waiting game. All right, so while it's loading right here, I just want to give you a heads up so you don't run into any issues again. Don't touch anything while it's loading. This is going to take some time. It took me over an hour for the whole process, download, install, watching it restart a whole bunch of times. There's pretty much nothing you need to do here. If you have it plugged up to a charger, don't unplug it. Don't turn off your device. Don't start playing around with it. Just leave it. Let it do its thing. Be patient. After the hour, it should be done. If yours is taking hours and hours, check your internet connection. If you have a slow internet connection, that could be the reason. All right, so you can see here, it took about an hour to install. And once it's finished installing, we need to go ahead and put in our password here. What's going on? Come on, what do I gotta do here? Oh yeah, the new way of unlocking the phone is pressing on the home button. There's no longer a slide to unlock. Anyway, so we'll go and hit continue here. We will just uh, go next. This process here is just basically the same as when you first install or set up your iPhone. We'll just go ahead and don't share. Let's get started here. And there you go. We have iOS 10. You can see the new home app right there. Let's just go into the settings application here. I went to the general and software update. So you can see we're running iOS 10 and my software is up to date. Now you'll be getting a beta update renewals. So it'll prompt you to update when new betas are available. I believe they're on beta three now, but I'm not sure when that's going to be pushed to the public beta. Again, this took about an hour and I'll be doing a full rundown on all the features built into iOS 10. So if you're curious on how certain things work and you want to see where they are or if they're available for your device I'll be taking a look at that but this is it right here you can see some of the new features here this is the new control center that gives you the ability to swipe right for music and you can control your Apple TV if you have that as well 
and airplane, things like that. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to be updated and notified when I post the video on iOS 10. Also, if you have any questions regarding this video, feel free to ask in the comment box and I'll definitely respond and help you out. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all your favorite social media sites, and I'll see you in the next one.